So if you recall in the dog, the sacrotuberous ligament went from the sacrum to the tuberitii. But in the large animal, we have what's called a sacrosciatic ligament, which is very broad and fills up this whole space so that the greater ischiatic and lesser ischiatic notches then form a greater and lesser ischiatic foramen. Okay, so what passes through those foramen will have the sciatic nerve, the cranial gluteal artery and nerve and vein, as well as the caudal gluteal nerve. The caudal gluteal nerve will come through and it'll pass along that sacrosciatic ligament till it gets back to the lesser ischiatic foramen through which come the caudal gluteal artery and vein. Okay, and that nerve will then join them there. Now in the bovine, you can palpate that caudal aspect of the sacrosciatic ligament. Okay, this is important because in the cow, towards parturition, at 12 to 24 hours before giving birth, that will become very soft. It'll be very tight up until then, but within 12 to 24 hours, it becomes very soft. Now, look at this level right here in the bovine. Now let's take that over to the horse. So we notice here at the horse, the pelvis is much more upright, so that angle does not quite work. Okay, so we still have the sciatic nerve, the cranial gluteal artery and vein and nerve coming through here, and the caudal gluteal nerve coming through here. But then our vessels, our caudal gluteal artery and vein, are going to actually come through the sacrosciatic ligament at this point rather than down here. Okay, so you may ask, well, what comes through the lesser? Well, in both the horse and the cow, through that lesser ischiatic foramen is going to come the tendon of the internal obturator muscle. Okay? So that is a sacrosciatic ligament in the large animal.